Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm like at a little bit of a different angle. I needed a wider shot because I have a lot of good things to show with you, most of which, to show with you, to share with you, most of which are clothing. I have had significant luck in the clothing department. You know that is kind of my thing. If you are new here, my name is Ashley. I specialize in vintage clothing of all eras. Um, I do resell some more modern, um, contemporary things as you will see here that have really good names and good resale value and I do so on both eBay and Depop. So I wanted to sit down today, share these stuff I'm excited about. A handful of things are for me to keep. Most of them are going online to be with you or the right person out there. And I just want this to be helpful if you are also a fellow reseller or if you just are a vintage clothing addict much like myself. So I have two hard goods I wanna share because I do dabble in the hard goods a little bit as well. I have jewelry, I have accessories, I have everything and I'm going to power through. I want this to be like a big fun end of the year collective video. So the first piece I have, I paid up for this in my world, I paid up for it. This was $9.99, it's made in Mexico. It is this beautiful hand blown, hand painted like ombre effect glass. Now these don't resell for a ton, like $35 to $40 um, from what I've seen. Mine is even more beautiful than the comps that I have seen online. So maybe I could push it to about 50, um, but I really just like this for myself. So I'm gonna see if I can have a use for it. Really nice, heavy quality glass. If not, you know, still decent margins there so I can make something happen. This next piece that I found is very exciting. My eye was drawn to it because it's very mid-century in design. It almost looks southwestern, like bear claw-like effect here, signed on the bottom. I almost passed this up because I, when I was looking up comps, I spelled the last name wrong. When I look it up, this pottery goes for hundreds. The comps are a little bit all over the board. I haven't seen one quite like mine. He does a lot of work with faces. Actually, really, really beautiful stuff. I am hoping to get, you know, between two and three hundred dollars for this. That would be amazing. But seeing as I only paid five hundred, even if this is only a eighty-five hundred dollar piece, that is still absolutely incredible. And I got this down in Miami at a thrift store that I don't often go to. So five bucks on that one really excited. Let's move on to this piece of, I don't usually go through linen, but I had to pick this up. This was also $5. It appears like hand-painted little Dutch boy and girl. Um, here they are in like lederhosen and whatnot there. Um, I tried looking up comps on this. I believe that this style is sort of 70s. It's on a really nice linen with this blue trim. Definitely done by hand, as you can tell. Can't find anything just like this. I can find little like art pieces that look very similar to this, but none Dutch specific. So if you know anything about this, let me know. It's a nice large size, not quite like a bedspread size, um, but I will throw up some measurements here on the screen for you. Now let's power through some clothing things. I had like, the best luck where I walked into a thrift store and all of this stuff was just on a single rack of new things to be put out. First of which, I almost passed these up. I was like, it was just happened to be on the rack, so I looked up the comps. It's called The Great. They are these tie-dye sweatpants. They've got the little ruching at the bottom. Not my style, not something that I like to sell. If you look up comps on these, they're like $100 sweatpants. I paid $3.99 more than happy with this purchase. I think loungewear is so incredibly popular now after the pandemic specifically, so I have a good feeling that those will sell. They are a smaller size. From what I hear from people, the larger sizes do better on eBay, but I just kind of grabbed them because they were there and it's cheap enough where even if they don't go for maybe the full retail value that they traditionally sell for, I can still make a couple of bucks. I found two pieces by Isabel Morant. This is a designer that you want to look out for. This thrift store clearly wasn't very privy to them because again, we're talking $5.99 a piece for these. My sister works at this store currently. It is a contemporary luxury clothing brand. This is a really fantastic, amazing shape. Looks like new black sweater with the logo there on the front. I expect to get anywhere from 85 to 100 bucks on this guy. I'm telling you guys, this was like abnormal. It needs a little wash, but it's a nice, strong cotton. Look for the brand Isabel Morant. I could not believe I found it. My thrift store is the type of thrift store that like, if it's Gucci or Valentino or whatever, they're all over it, but stuff like Isabel Morant, they have no idea even exists. Speaking of Isabel Morant, 
this one is new with tags. This is as new as summer. So I don't even know how it made it here. Paid a little bit more for this one at $7.99. This is a size 34, which is the smallest size that they make, but it's really quite oversized. It does have a hood. I have this listed for $135 or best offer. I am hoping to make between $95 and $135 on this guy. Depending on how long that it sold, I did see that one sold recently for best offer that they took on one that was listed at $1. 25 so let's assume 100 on that one this one is new with tags however i'm unsure if the one that sold was but they are the exact same size and mine is a little bit of a different colorway that in my personal opinion is more desirable but that is all relative so that's been on my ebay store now for a couple of days hasn't sold quite yet but again i'm okay with sitting on it for a little bit um from that same trip let's stay on the kind of same trip wave because I found so much good stuff. I found this sweater from 3.1 Philip Lim. This is another designer sweater. It looks very plain, so it, just, it would totally depend on the designer, but I did see an exact comp of this exact sweater in, I think, just an extra small instead of a small, so for 56 bucks. I paid, I already removed the tags on this because I did photograph it. I think I paid $5.99 for this as well. It might have even been $2.99 or $3.99, but it's incredibly soft. It's this charcoal gray, really nice chic fit. Even when I put it on, I was surprised. It's just a good basic by a good brand. And again, I expect to make about $50 or so on this one, so that is great. Another new with tags item. I'm happy I looked this up. Guys, don't stick your nose up at certain brands. Like, like I said, I do vintage focus and we are about to shift there in a very big way with the rest of my finds here in a moment. But um, I just want to share with you some brands that I will absolutely be looking for. And the fact that the tags are on these made it very easy to research. So this is by the brand Daydreamer. I could see Yvonne Thrifty Rich really liking this. It is a thermal and it has a little graphic on there that says, wish you were here. And it's kind of got like a Grateful Dead 70s kind of look to it, kind of hippie. Thermal, long sleeve, white, new with tags, size extra small. They retail for $74. So if I can make about $50 to $60 on this, I would be really, really happy with that as it is new with tags. So this is listed on my eBay shop as well. Then finally, from that load of the day, that was such an incredible day, I did also find this Free People piece. I have become increasingly more selective with Free People, and the more that I watch videos online, I find that a lot of you are on that wave as well, because it's just hit or miss. This, however, I think is a really good, high-quality piece. It is this adorable sweater. I have photographed this one already as well, and if I've done so, I'll be throwing up images so that you all can see them a little bit better. Um, but I love Free People as a brand. I think they make some really cute things. This is a nice cropped, chunky crochet sweater. Good for all times of year, honestly. And it's got that really nice sort of open, loose, drapey fit. Really pretty colors. I was very excited to pick this up. And again, it was only $3.99, so I felt comfortable picking it up at that price. Now, I found this a different day. This is relatively collective. This is probably over the span of a week maybe creeping up on two. I just had everything stashed to share with you guys. There is even more. This is just kind of the highlight reel. Anyway, I found another designer piece, maybe from the same load. This is by a brand called Marnie. Marnie is another really great brand. Um, some of their stuff goes really high. I can't find any comps on this piece specifically. I'm gonna do more research with the little codes inside, but it's this really cute plaid wool top incredibly well made has this big old beautiful zipper there in the back it's made in portugal i paid 2.99 guys you can't beat it because even if i'm making 50 bucks on these pieces i like getting them at a price where i can give people a deal specifically if you're watching my video and interested in this piece it does have one little faint mark right there i may try to launder it myself i am pretty handy that way or i may just sell it as is again i got it at such a low cost that if someone wants to take care of that and I could just move on, then that would be fantastic. Now let's take a little bit of a clothing break and I will share with you some jewelry that I got. Um, this is not all of it. This is just a couple of pieces that I thought were really cool. So at the flea market, I found these. They're unsigned, but they definitely look to be 
artisan made. They are just so cool. These little posts, they are posts that have a little face on it. I may have to wear these once or twice. I think they are so cool. They are a really nice larger size as well. The back looks like that. I could see sort of the soldering that was done there. They're just really unique. I picked these up for $3.00. Then I picked up these shoe clips. Guys, I just had a really strong feeling about these. I feel like they're from the 20s. I have been trying to research different mechanisms on shoe clips. Um, this looks pretty in line with ones from the 20s that I've seen. If you know any reference books for, for that or if you were just an expert, please let me know. But these little rosettes, these little rosebuds, they're so cute. They're velvet. They're in beautiful condition. Truly like new. I think they are so sweet. I did pay $6 for the pair. I kind of took a chance on these because I'm not 100% sure. Worst case scenario, I will keep them and put them on my shoes with a smile on my face. I would love to. And then I did also grab from the flea market this great little bib necklace, this mesh bib. I did see Hannah of Guilt Ridden Gal on Instagram wearing one of these. And so when I saw this for just, I think I paid two or three dollars for this, had to pick it up. It's got that really nice closure. I really like these sort of fastener ones, just so you know it's really secure. And it actually looks even better when worn, not necessarily with what I have on right now, but this is a beautiful piece. Not sure if I'm gonna be keeping or selling, but really happy to have it in my collection. Moving right along. I also picked this up from the flea market on a different day. This was definitely homemade, but I think it's actually really cool. It is this large pendant with all of the different zodiacs. What I have noticed though is that the stones do not match the actual birthstones because I'm an Aquarius. Am I pointing at the right one? Yes, and my birthstone is an amethyst and there is a red stone there, but I know these little necklaces usually come individually and it looks like someone soldered them all together on this ring and I think it looks awesome. I think on a shorter chain, this could be a really cool statement piece. Again, kind of a hard thing to comp, so if one of you would like it, I am more than happy to give it to you. I paid $2 um, or I'm also more than happy to keep that one. I think it's a lot of fun and I really like that sort of 70s vibe. Some earrings that I found, really cool little Southwest cactus guys, super cute. I paid $4.99 for them. The jewelry is a little bit higher at the thrift store that I go to. No signature, but really, really cute dangly. If I don't sell those online, I could definitely sell them in person at a market. I found this really cute. Again, I just got suckered into this. This is an AJC pin. It is like a little Aladdin, $3.99, and it's got a little genie in there. Is that not so cute? So I think these are like 15 max $20 pins. So again, if I need to just put this on my denim jacket that I have covered in pins, I could do that. Or if one of you would like it, that's always my favorite. Or I, I was thinking of um, the Nurse Flipper cat when I found these, they are these adorable hoops and they've got little dolphins on them and they're actually done really nicely. Not signed on these guys either. I just had a good feeling about them. I wanted to pick them up again, something that I would totally wear or that I could see selling at a market. You, we all know animal stuff tends to do very well. And then quickly, I love this because it's on the original packaging. It is from 1992. It looks very, you know, late 80s, early 90s in style. This is a clip for your collar and then a matching pair of earrings. They are posts. I am just in love with the packaging. I cannot get over it. I love it. And then finally in the jewelry department, and we will move on to a little bit more clothes, power through here, I found this killer set. So these are post earrings. This is the matching brooch. It is all inlaid wood. They are awesome. So incredibly 80s. Again, um, I haven't looked up any comps on these, but I'm really excited. I just thought they were really cool. So nice little jewelry haul there. Let's move on to some accessories, aka hats. I do really well with hats and I thought that maybe you all would like to see sort of what I do. So I actually have the hat. I got this hat that I'm wearing right here. These are all in the same load. I got this hat. It's just a red crochet hat. I got, this is a more modern one, but it is a knit beret. Berets are very popular right now. That's a good one for Depop. And then this one is just fantastic. It's a made in Italy Angora one. This was the highlight of the day for sure in the most beautiful pink and white colorway. These are all listed on my Depop. This one for 45, this one for 15, I think. Um, and then these 25 a piece. I know I could sell them. Someone made them themselves and I get to wear them 
in the meantime. So that's always a nice thing. Let's move on to clothes. I have a really exciting designer find, but I'm going to make you wait just a little bit longer for that one. This one, I was so excited to find. These are the type of colors that I look for. If it's these colors, it's usually 70s. You can kind of bank on it. And look at this tag. This is new with tags as well. It says you look better in a Helen Sue sweater. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. I paid $5.99, that might be a six, I'm not sure, $6.99. New with tags, fantastic 1970 sweater, amazing bell sleeves, two big pockets. I mean, is this not the most fun thing you've ever seen? I saw one sell for about 35. I think I could probably get a little bit more for this on Depop, but worst case scenario, I am still not mad at $35. Um, that same day, I did also pick up this dress. It just appeared to be very well made, um, and it is by Via Sant Andrea. I am not familiar with this brand, but I did only pay $3.99 for it. It reminded me a lot of a Laura Ashley dress. Laura Ashley is a great name to look for as well, but it's this really cute pinafore sort of style, so it looks best when layered with something. You can go for a really 90s look with a white turtleneck underneath. It is a maxi length, just so you could see here, and it is a gorgeous, rich paisley print. This is fantastic. I did like that it was a slightly larger size as well. I believe it is a large and it is absolutely beautiful. I love this piece. Oh, there was actually one more item from the day where I found all these new with tags items. This I actually found in the pajama section. Definitely not a pajama set. This is from Reformation and Reformation is always a brand that you should look for as well. Um, especially great for Depop, but it will also do well on eBay. And it is the Fiji set. So this is a terry cloth white shirt, new with tags, and it was also with the matching shorts. I did pay $5.99 for the set. I am hoping to get $65 to $75 for the set. The set retails for like $156, so that would be really, really great deal for someone, and then great for me as Let's well. Let's keep this rolling. I really enjoyed this skirt that I found. Could not believe that this was actually vintage. It's by a brand called Claudette. It's just so funny how cyclical fashion is, and that's what I love about it. This is from the 90s. It is using all vintage graphic t-shirts. I mean, I even see right here that this is a 1993 Betty Boop one, but it is this long length maxi skirt. It is so cute. It's patchwork. It is incredibly cool. It's a size small. It's got an adjustable tie waist. This is also listed on my Depop. I am hoping to get about $45 for this guy. Now let's move along to some more true vintage goodness. I did also find this top. This is handmade. This is not gonna translate well on camera, so maybe I'll have to throw in a little clip of me putting this on, but look at that sleeve. Look at that sleeve here. You know what? I'm gonna throw it on right now because I don't really feel like filming B-roll since the most of this is for my shop anyway and not for me, but look at how Cool this is. This guy was on sale, $3.99 and half off. Look at this. This is a good Florida layer, as I like to call it, because it is sheer. It provides absolutely no warmth, but it does allow me to layer. And in fact, I might even leave that on. Speaking of fun little layers, I also picked up this thing. This is actually a costume piece. I don't know for what costume this would be for. This was $2.00. And it's just like this little cape thing that I can tie in the front. It's tie-dye. Thought it might be fun to layer. So items for me are always going to be peppered into these videos, you guys. I love clothes, and that's just going to be the way that it is. Um, then I did also pick up this dress. I'm kind of conservative with picking up of the nightgowns as far as vintage ones are concerned. I don't often love when they're made of nylon. This one is. But this one I thought was exceptionally beautiful. I mean, look at the detail there on the bust. It's all white, it is in beautiful condition, white trim. These are very popular right now. They actually look really good with cowboy boots. There's a lot of ways to style them that are both romantic or they can go sort of Western. I forgot who this one is by, here we go. By a brand I've actually never seen before. I do think it is from the 70s or 80s. There's the tag, size 32, and it says Eiffel by the Flounds. I don't know what that means, you guys, but I do know that this is beautiful and I am hoping to get about $30 or so for this one. I paid $2.99. Then this was a cool find as well. Haven't found any comps on this exact 
piece, but it's insanely cool. It is a Tommy Hill figure, which is not usually my thing, but sometimes it does do really well. But this is a color block sort of chore jacket. This is so freaking cool. Um, I love the warm sort of sunset tones on this. It is a size medium, but it does appear to have a really nice sort of oversized fit. I don't even know if this is designed for a male or a female. I do think that either one could wear it, and I think this will do extraordinarily well on Depop. Hoping to get about $85 for that one. I paid, where are you? $2.99. It was a big $2.99 day. This I grabbed at the Goodwill. Goodwill, I mean, it's just always more expensive. I was planning on keeping this for myself, but it is a little bit too large. And it is just this really sweet 90s green iridescent. It almost sort of has a 50s-like shape to it. It's got the tie back, which I do always love. And it fits like a small, but a small with that's not so small up top like myself, but it's just this great iridescent color. Um, I could probably get about 32, 40 bucks for this one easily, I think. And then one more jacket that I'm going to share scarves and the highlight of the whole video that you had to stick around for. Um, this is a really cool piece. It's actually silk, believe it or not. And it is this fantastic quilted 60s bed jacket. These are just fantastic. This has a little bit of wear on the shoulder, so that will probably affect the value that I can get for it. But even as is, I think at least 50 bucks. It's sort of like a liner, like one of those army quilted liners, but it's even more exceptional and beautiful. So happily, happily take this home. I may even have to rock that once or twice. I think it is just such a fun layer and look great if you live in actually cold weather and can layer on top of it. Two exciting scarf finds. I'm not like the biggest scarf person. I used to buy them more often because I wore them a lot in my hair. This was just 80s perfection. The colors are absolutely beautiful. And then I am unloading my stuff one day and I find that this is signed Diane Von Furstenberg. So this is gonna be a nice little payday as well. I've not looked up exact comps on this scarf. It is silk. I always look for those hand rolled edges. That is always just the sign of quality. That doesn't always mean that they are made by someone. I can't even find the signature. Now here we go. Right there in the corner. I just bought it because even if it was just some 80s scarf, I think that it is incredible and it's a nice larger size. You know how the gals like to wear the scarves like tops now. This you could do that as well. Now this I was just taken by because it looks like stained glass. It is absolutely stunning. And again, I get a nice little surprise here. Not looking for it, um, but this is for the Met. So this was made for the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And I do think I saw a sold comp of this very scarf for $85, you guys. So I don't remember what I paid. I think $4.99 because they are on to the better quality scarves, but happily pay that because I thought it was gorgeous not being anything important, never mind being from the Met. So that was a good find. All right, you guys, you might be able to see it. Some of you might not be able to tell what it is. This is when knowledge is power because someone, I've had three people look at this rack before I did, okay? There was nothing really exciting on the rack. I see this. I know exactly what it is. You might not know exactly what it is, but when I share it with you, I will tell you a little bit more. Someone cut the tag out on this. So no one knew exactly what it is. They're just like, oh look, this little shirt that's like patchwork has some French on it. Turn it around. It's got this killer. This is Marlena Dietrich, sort of like an optical illusion. This is a Jean-Paul Gaultier top, you guys. This might have to live in my collection for just a little while. I definitely will give it a new life because it is really extra special and I think someone would love it more than I would, but I did see comps for this shirt at around $350. $350. I got this for $3.99. Uh, this is when I have like panic attacks at the thrift. Oh, I paid $4.99 actually. This is when I have panic attacks at the thrift store, you guys. Look at how gorgeous that is. You just don't see this every day. Someone did unfortunately cut out the interior tag. Um, so there's nothing on the side, there's nothing on the top, but this is the real deal. It is absolutely incredible. And this was the highlight of my last couple of weeks of thrifting for sure. So that is it everyone. I have been doing exceptionally well as far as what I'm finding. I'm trying to get more on top of listing. I've got a really nice pile over there. A lot of this stuff is included. So if you wanna shop anything directly, you don't have to, it's just be a fun, 
educational video, um, then that's fantastic. Or you can uh, reach out to me via email. You can leave me a comment here. We can chat. Um, always make sure to catch me on Instagram. And a lot of this is already listed on Depop. So you could go through Depop if you like. I can always do a little bit better if we do a one-on-one -on -one direct sale. So don't hesitate to reach out. I would happily send you more information, photos, measurements, all of that good stuff. But thank you all so much for watching. I'm having a lot of fun making these videos again. I was, I had a different channel making YouTube videos for a long time, but I'm really liking this sort of reselling avenue and I have found so many channels that I really enjoy. So if you like this video, you found it fun, helpful, any positive adjective, then please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel, especially because I'm brand new. Please make sure to subscribe. I am trying to get on a more regimented schedule, but right now uploads are a little bit sporadic, but at least one a week. And I thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Um, Catch me on Instagram and Depop, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.